I'm ready. Are you ready? Sure. All right. Let's do this. I'm a sure. consummate professional. <laughs> Take it away. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that matter to us but may not matter to you. I am I am host one of three, Luis Delatore. I am host two of three, Daikaiju Tony. I am host three of three, Adam Cran. Before we go any further, guys, it's almost Christmas. It is. It is almost Christmas. We're right and I'm, there. And I'm sure, just like me, you, you haven't finished any of your holiday shopping. Uh, so we're going to make it super easy for you. Come on down to Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert, and get yourself or that nerdy someone that you love something special. Uh, let's show them what kind of stuff we got like here, this, guys. Like this, an Umbrella oh. Academy lunchbox. Nice. Yeah. We got... I don't know that you want to go to work with <laughs> an Academy <laughs> lunchbox. I, totally I, mean, I, I would. Uh, I totally would. I mean, you guys work at a comic book store. <laughs> what is I work at a box factory. And also... <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. And also this uh, merman pa merman. Oh <laughs> what do you guys got? Uh, we've got some Christmas comics, specifically from Marvel, including this one where Hulk's fighting Santa Claus. Nice. It's Gray mm, Hulk. That's awesome. And this one was pretty. So awesome. he's smart enough to know better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And here's Santa Claus shooting Iron Man. Oh heck yeah. yeah. So, Cool stuff right there. Awesome. I also have some Christmas books, but uh, they're a little more tame than <laughs> superheroes <laughs> fighting Santa. I have the Christmas treasury of the Carl Barks Donald Duck run. Yeah, nice. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? Yes. Is that? Two, two books slip cover, yeah. Yep. Two books, guys. Nice. Two books. Carl for Banks. Carl Carl Barks. Barks. Sorry. Uh, I also have this from which I didn't know existed. Frank Frazetta's The Adventures of the Snowman. Yeah. Uh, which is very, very old, and, but you know, yeah, I Frank love Frank Frazetta, so I would definitely check this out. Nice. And then if you grew up with this man like I did, uh, you'll want to pick up Bob Ross's Happy Little Night Before Christmas. Yeah, it's right cool. there. It's pretty awesome. It's got a, a bunch of, uh, it's got a story in here, but it's got a bunch of his, his paintings. His actual artwork, yeah. His actual artwork. Can Good. you see that? Yep. Yes. Uh, yes. Nope, there <laughs> you go. Of... <laughs> don't, don't, don't damage it. My God. I mean, yeah, all right, you're right. I, I'm not going to damage it. Um... <laughs> Anyway, we have all this stuff and a lot more back issues, trades, figures, statues. We have pops, believe it or not. So come on down, get yourself something special, get uh, something special for someone else. Um, and then, of have course, gift cards. we also have gift cards. Probably, and probably too late to ship, but we do for we Christmas. We do ship. But we do ship. Yeah. Yeah. You probably if you order something now, you probably won't get it at Christmas, right. but you'll definitely get it. Yeah. 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 So you know, get it, get it for yourself for after a little after Christmas uh, gift. Anyway, come on down, uh, talk to our knowledgeable staff, and we'll be more than happy to help you find something that you want or need. Yeah. Okay. So, like I said before, guys, it is almost Christmas. It is. And for some reason, one of you had the idea of <laughs> uh, Christmas. Liz, hold on. Christmas DLC and Easter eggs in indoor Easter egg holiday DLC Christmas e uh, in video games, which video I don't know games. how we got there, but yeah. Okay. We're doing it. There's a lot of them. Yeah. There, there's more than I thought there was, but but for sure there, uh, some of which I do remember, some of which I don't remember. But at the time, I didn't remember it. Tony, you're gonna go last because you have like yes, a, you have one of the better ones. Uh, best one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, who wants to start? Do you want to start? I'll you want start me to start? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um, in Mafia Two, there's just a oh, very oh, yeah. Oh. There's just a very tiny little. I don't Easter know where the Santa Claus is, but you're yeah. gonna bring him to me. There's just a very tiny little Easter egg right in the opening hmm. scene where he returns to. Uh, well, he returns to the city, <laughs> and it starts off during Christmas time. There's snow everywhere, and there's a, there's a Let It Snow playing on the radio, and it's just, it's probably one of the more immersive moments in a video game. It's like you just feel there. Sounds like it's like, like it, cinematic it's, almost. It's very, yeah. yeah, if it's very simple, it it's very cool. Mafia is mm. a really and it, and cinematic game. Yeah, and it, and it really works, and that's, that's a cool one. Um, I'll do one more, because I know these will go kind of quick for some of the Easter eggs anyway. Um, uh, Shenmue, if you play during the Christmas oh, season. Oh, Shenmue. Yeah, if you play during the Christmas season, you actually get, you know, that once you, you go to sleep and you wake up, it starts to snow, but then the next morning you wake up and everything's covered in white. There's Christmas music's playing in the shops, decorations are up and things, like, and Santa roams the street. It's really kind of a cool, neat little. <laughs> like actual Santa roams the street? I, I assume so. 
Or is it one of those <laughs> things where it's like the guy's like, ah, oh, you're you're not actually Santa. You're like you're not and supposed to fight. believe that Santa. And then like at the end, and he's then, like, ho ho ho, and he flies yeah. off in an actual. It's like sleigh. a fifteen man melee with yeah. him and his elves. <laughs> oh dang, that would be uh, cool as hell. It is Shenmue. I mean, I'd be cool as hell. Right, right. I'd be down for something like um, that. But yeah, that's a neat that's a neat little one. Um, what did you got? You got. Because I got a couple bigger ones, but I was going to. Oh, okay, cool. So mines are all big ones uh, because I've actually played these games. Nice. So uh, the first one is Santa Claus, or the Klaus Man, can be found in the SNES game Secret of Mana uh, in the ice country near Toto Village, which is the home of the walrusks. Walrusks? Walruskers? They're like weird, like walrus monsters. Um, So in this, so this isn't like a DLC. It's not really an Easter egg. It's part of the game. Um, but basically, you, as you journey with Santa Claus, he begins to feel kind of hopeless because the kids kind of start uh, stop believing in him. Yeah. So he require he uh, they acquire this uh, magic item called a mana seed, uh, which he's going to use to make a mana Christmas tree. Cool, right? To to get people back into the holiday spirit. Um, Unfortunately, he's corrupted by the power of that seed, and he turns into a, an ice monster uh, known uh, called Fro- Frost Gygus, which is, I believe, that's how you pronounce it. Um, you have to fight him. This gets dark fast. Uh, yeah, the, the ones I have are all about fighting Santa. <laughs> I don't know what I have against fighting Santa. Um, so, yeah, you have to do battle with uh, this form of Santa. And, uh, of course, once you've beaten him, you restore him to normal, and he gives you the mana seed. Uh, after you defeat him. Nice. Um, it's very surprising. I did not expect when I played this game way back when on, on an SNES that I was going to end up meeting Santa Claus or much less even fighting Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, so it was quite <laughs> surprising. Um, yeah, that was, that was one of the ones that I remember. And then uh, do you want do you want to do another one or do you want me to do, you want me to do my no, second but, one? Uh, no, I can, I can do one because I do have a longer one. Okay, so uh, <laughs> late... 90s, early 2000s, there was a game you might remember. I don't know, Tony, if you've heard of the, the game Clay Fighter. Oh, I know what it is. Right. Yeah. Uh, SNES. So the SNES. So there was a version on the uh, N64 called Clay Fighter 63 and a third. Now, this, uh, this, game, uh, this game at the time when I was a kid was hilarious. Absolutely yeah, yeah. funny. Yeah. And then you look back on it now and you're like, ugh, Ugh, this game is bad. It sucks so bad. It's really, the humor is not, that that did not hold up. No, it didn't. Kind of like Conker's Bad Fur Day. It did not age well. Yeah, no. It (laughs) It was at the time, yes. Well, gameplay wise, it's still kind of fun. Well, there is an Akuma esque uh, sort of hidden character in Clay Fighter 63 and a third, which is the evil Sumo Santa. It's basically Santa Claus. Uh, in, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's just wearing a sumo outfit, like a green and red sumo outfit. Right. He is the most obnoxious character you've ever seen. He's an evil version of Santa Claus who wants to take over the North Pole, uh, but he can't because of the other character, the, one of the main characters of this series, which is Bad Mr. Frosty. He's the, nice. the snowman, the evil snowman character. Nice. Um, I say Akuma-esque because you you do have to put in a special code at the character selection screen to get oh. uh, <laughs> to get uh, evil sumo Santa. <laughs> um, but once you do, the game is so much of the same. It's really not any different or anything all that special. It's just weird to see Santa Claus wearing like a like one of those sumo I don't know yeah. what you call them. I don't want to call them a diapers. It's disrespectful, but like one of those sumo uh, like the belts with the stuff. <laughs> Sumo no, tights? Yeah, yeah. What are those tights? That's like oh, that's all he's wearing. He's like I, tights yeah. and his hat and yeah. just a big bearded nice. homeless guy. I, I don't know. Uh, he does look very odd in the game. All right. But uh, that's that's really all I remember. I never I never played. Uh, I didn't get too deep into Shenmue, so I never got into the uh, the Christmas. Well, well I didn't have it. a Dreamcast either, so it's one of those you have to play at Christmas time to experience. Oh, real? It's one of those yeah. like timed things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's why you could adjust the calendar in your system. <laughs> well, yeah, you can do that too. Well, well, I didn't have a Dreamcast. I had to go over to someone's house to play Dreamcast. Yeah. So a lot of my Shenmue experience was watching someone else play Shenmue and watching them play terribly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, I never got to the Christmas nice part of it, and I didn't play Mafia. I I got so out of video Those are games good. like good. really early Mafia on in the awesome. early two thousands. So They're really good. Yeah. I'm brutal. Just don't put don't put the race on hard mode for the remaster. 
the original game it was impossible to win but they've fixed it if you put it on an easier mode you can actually win the race oh okay <laughs> there's like a car race that happens it's really cool though that's mafia one anyway um uh, another quick one just another timed one similar to shimmo is of course fallout 4 with uh the baseball park what's that place called fenway park it's Fenway Park, but it's whatever that city's called. I forget what oh, they call it in Fallout 4. Anyway, if you go at Christmas time, it'll all be decorated. It's kind of cool. It's Bean neat, Bean Town. It's Bean Town Park. Bean Town Park. Bean Town Park. Yeah. Park. It's kind of a neat little. Uh, it's kind of a neat little nod. But anyway, what I'm my next one that I'm going to talk. So they're about. just they're just they're just decoration. There's no no there's possibility. Nothing. There's no robot who thinks he's Santa. Or... No, it should be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Greetings, I am Santa. I am Santa Claus. <laughs> Hello, um, have you been a good boy? There's kind of a there's a there's a game that's been out for I think about at least a year or two um, called The Escapists. Now you probably don't know what it is. It's kind of a top down game. It's on Steam that you uh, you break out of prisons. It's awesome. Well, it they, sounds cool. They I have don't know some, what any of those words. They were, have though. two really cool DLCs. The first one, well, this is actually the second one, but the first one's better, so I'm gonna save it for last. The f- second one was called Santa Shakedown. Which is a, which is a Christmas themed present uh, prison with a theatrical warden and and um, a theatrical. They're trying warden. to put on some kind of pantomime, and you're trying to escape, basically. Oh, okay. He's really theatrical, and he's like, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> okay. but the good one, the good one is actually called Santa's Sweatshop. Oh, <laughs> where you boy. where you play a disgruntled elf. <laughs> And you have to escape the rubbish, pay, and grueling working conditions of Santa's workshop. Oh, I like that. <laughs> right? I thought and it was going to be something darker, like, yeah, nah. it turns out that the elves were actually children from third world countries. Like, whoa, oh, oh no. <laughs> but they're actual elves, so that's cool. Right. I mean, you figure Santa's real. The elves should be real, too. Right, right. That, that one's really good. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, I got a couple more. You also have, if, you, if you're a Hitman player. Oh, oh I remember um, this. There's a couple of them. I'm just a regular Hitman. Right, right. <laughs> One of them's actually in uh That's why you're not it's, bald. it's one of the older games. Uh what was it called? I forget what the older one's called now. Hitman, hitting it again. <laughs> oh, Blood Money. Blood oh. Money, it, which you can get again um on PlayStation, but it's called You Better Watch Out. You're tasked with taking a couple of high profile marks who found themselves on the naughty list. Mm-hmm. Um Is that the name of the whole DLC? <laughs> no, no, the DLC is just called You Better Watch Out. Um, but Hitman, the newer version of Hitman, which should become becoming active again here. Well, it should be active right now. Um, the level's called Holiday Hoarders. Uh, your assignment is to eliminate two thieves stealing Christmas presents. <laughs> well, and that's nice. And their names are Harry and Marv, a oh, Home Alone-inspired Hitman mission. The, the, was right, it the, right. the, the Wet Bandits? Right, right. The so, Wet Bandits. So hopefully that'll come active again this year. It was, actually came out several years ago, but those kind of things tend Man, to come around every Christmas. If they got Joe Pesci and, um, why is his name escaping me, the other guy. To voice those characters, that would be, that cool. would be great. Yeah, that would yeah. just Joe Pesci by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could, oh man, that would be so yeah, fun. The Hitman's are really good. Um, and then the I got two more. One's going to lead into Anthony's. This this might be a little shorter shorter show, but we're we're pretty much right before Christmas, so that's okay. Um, <clears throat> GTA and not GTA Online, Red Dead Redemption or Red Dead Online. Actually, it doesn't do much. For Christmas. Okay. But it does snow, and it is kind of cool. It snows all over the whole map, so mm. that's kind of cool. It's just a neat little addition right around Christmas. It's kind of neat. See, if you're going to put Christmas in a game, I just I need it to be insane. Well, I, If you're going to put it in... Nope, nope. If you're going to put it in Red Dead, I need eight, you to have a gunfight with Santa. It's 1890. <laughs> well, maybe they'll do that this year. I don't so, know Santa didn't year. exist in 1890? No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sure he did. Oh. Oh. Um. I would just love, like, if you walk into a bar or, like, a saloon in there with Santa carousing with the ladies that work there and, like, shooting whiskey and, you know, and maybe shoots a guy over a game of cards. That'd be good. Um, Red Dead Online, unfortunately, has been mostly ignored by Rockstar. Um, The fact that it snows around Christmas is probably the biggest... One of the biggest things they ever do. They they just don't do a lot. It sounds like a shortcut. They, like, what are we going to release for this season? I don't know. We'll give them snow. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll love that. They'll Mean, love that. Meanwhile, GTA Online is still having support to this day. Because yes. GTA Five is like their biggest cash cow. Right. <laughs> um, I for one like Red Dead Online, but that's okay. G now GTA Online because this one's going to lead into Tony's. Uh, 
they always do a festive surprise. It kind of repeats every year, but it does have a lot of a lot of things. It has masks and Santa outfits and seasonal sweaters, light up bodysuits, modifiable illumination settings for your cars and stuff, all sorts of things like that. Firework launchers. What's great is you can basically kill people with snowballs. <laughs> what? Which, yes. which, why would you ever use a gun at that point? If you could, you know. You just I, kill I, someone I just, with a snowball? Yeah, yeah. And it snows. It does snow. In the, the evidence wouldn't be, like, untraced. You couldn't find the snowball that killed somebody. <laughs> right. Yeah, and, and there, it looks like they're going to do it again this year. Don't know if they're going to have anything new. They haven't really had too much new over the last few years. It's just sort of repeated the festive surprise. Mm. Um, they always have something new, but it's usually like some kind of cosmetic thing, like a new mask or something like that. Mm, okay. Um, so yeah, that's cool. But now, now Tony's going to talk about his, and it's a good. Oh yeah. It's a good. We've been saving up for this one, saving guys. Up for this Here one. we go. Everybody, shut up. The greatest. <laughs> the, yeah, the greatest. It is a really good DLC. Christmas DLC ever. Saints Row Four. It's it's in Saints Row Four. Yep. And. Okay, just to throw this in, I just like the Saints Row games more than Grand Theft Auto just because of how crazy they are. Well, yeah. Saints Row 4 is the craziest one just because of how it sets up everything for the Christmas special. So Saints Row 4, just to, like, quickly recap it. What's the Christmas one called? Um, ah, shoot. I well, okay, that's okay. Keep talking about it's it. It's been a while, but I recognize, I remember the story. Basically, just to set up the what happens in the Christmas special, Earth gets destroyed. And uh, hmm. Saints Row 4 is basically you and your gang is on a ship and yeah and this you're in the matrix oh yeah lots of references to the matrix well you're in the matrix well, technically yeah you're being matrix. manipulated yeah isn't There's keith david the president uh vice president oh the vice you're, oh, right. you're, you're, you're the, the president. president right 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 yeah which um, by the way keith david for president it's funny too because you know saints row is famous like they kind of parody other video games mm -hmm. so you can sleep with everybody Yep. Oh, wow. Parroting Mass Effect. But except for Keith, Keith David. David. Yep. He just looks at you and goes, Who do you think I am? Or something <laughs> like that. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's great. How the Saints Save Christmas. Yes. How does it, oh, okay. Now I remember this. Um, how the Saints Save Christmas. This takes place right after the end of the main story. So, yeah. end of the main story, you beat the alien Zeniac who blew up the world. And uh, you're I mean, you didn't really beat him if you blew up the world, right? Uh, you're kind of testing. Well, the world's gone. You're, you're, Earth's gone. You're That's what I'm saying. So you didn't really beat him. At the same time, you're kind of experimenting with the time travel tech he had. Yeah. You brought back. You, uh, the, main, uh, the president brings back Jane Austen to narrate the story. Oh, right. my God. Yeah, yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> Saints Row, man. Amazing. It's so great. That's yeah. amazing. Um, yeah. So everyone's celebrating Christmas except for Kinsey since she never really celebrated Christmas in her dormitory. Um, <laughs> I wish I knew what that meant. And um, Kinsey's like your, your crazy computer hacker. hacker yeah. Uh. And the president, you, the main character, um, he's, <laughs> Go kind of, on. he's kind of a Scrooge. Until yeah, yeah, and yeah. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't have the Christmas spirit. He doesn't believe in Santa until right. one of your gang members sends Saints Row to Shandy from the future comes as a cyborg, and basically in the future <laughs> Santa Claus. What Shandy is it? Is it Elijah Dushku Shandy or is it uh, the I, other gal Shandy? I think the other Shandy. Yeah, yeah. But um, future Shandy, ah, who's yes. a cyborg, comes and basically she says Santa Claus becomes an evil warmonger in the future. <laughs> must you must prevent this from happening in the yeah. first place. Uh, you go to so you go to the North Pole in a simulation because before Xeniac tortures Santa Claus and all that, yeah. and <laughs> the North Pole was a complete destructive wasteland. Um, Santa Claus was backstabbed by a lot of his elves. You get to see the heads of the reindeer being. In oh my god! <laughs> I need to play that again. Actually, <laughs> yeah, the heads of the reindeers are put for display, and at a certain point, oh no, the giant elves are coming! Giant elves. Yeah, yeah. Wait, and they're just normal-sized people. <laughs> <laughs> the giant, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's very That's Saints Row, yeah. <laughs> yep, the it, giant elves. <laughs> eventually, you got to fight the evil Santa Claus to um, gain your Christmas spirit. And now there's a whole bunch of references <laughs> to other Christmas movies. Are there two Santa Clauses, or is this a Santa Claus gone evil? Like two Santa Claus. You, gotta get, yeah, you have to have the good Santa Claus helping yeah. you out in this quest to beat the evil Santa Claus. And one of the weapons you get is, uh, it's from A Christmas Story, it's the BB gun. Oh, the Red Rider, <laughs> the Red the Red Red Rider, Rider BB, BB gun. gun, yeah. And it's awesome. Yeah. Please tell me there's a reference to someone shooting their eye out. <laughs> oh, you can shoot people's eyes out with that. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yep. So sounds true, man. There's nothing you can't do and in that game. And the ending montage is a parody of like five different Christmas movies, including the one with Andrew Lincoln with the signs. And he goes oh, and the, yeah, the yeah. love actually. And <laughs> I, from what I remember, I did that DLC. And her I, husband's in the house, you jerk. Yeah, right. Your friend, her husband, is in yeah, the house. Yeah. 
That's yeah. not romantic. You're you're a butthole. Yeah. <laughs> From what I remember, I finished that DLC in a hot dog costume. <laughs> And wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. We're not going to gloss over the hot dog costume, are we? Why were you in a hot dog costume? Because that's one of the many things you can wear in Saints Row. You could be a toilet in Saints Row. Oh, I thought yeah. in real life. Oh, no. Uh, I thought you were sitting on your couch in a hot dog costume no. for some reason. I wish I was. Playing Saints Row 4. <laughs> like, no particular reason. You're just like, where's my hot dog costume? And then you just sat on the couch and played Saints Row all day. Yep. Um, post credit scene. So, another, another part of Saints Row story, or eight Saints Row 4 story, is that. There's still a couple thousand humans in the ship and right. pods, like in the Matrix. Sure. Uh, after yeah. stopping Claus and you know, f- uh, Klaus, helping Santa Claus Klaus. in his simulation, uh, Santa Claus wakes out. His pod crapped him out, and he's naked. And the only thing he has covering his crotch is his hat. And he's like, "Where am I?" <laughs> oh, <laughs> Santa. <laughs> so Santa Claus is like one of the few people that Zeniac valued enough to put into his giant ship of humans that he values. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of people, a lot of major characters die when the planet gets blown up in Saints Row, including Roddy Roddy Piper. What? Yeah, yeah. Roddy Roddy Piper was in that game? Yeah, he was a character. Yeah, he fights as well. Keith yeah. David. As he what? Keith David. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who awesome. is he in the game? Roddy Roddy he's Piper. Himself. He's He's straight up just Roddy Roddy <laughs> yeah, Piper. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's amazing. Because, yeah, they recreate the scene from uh, They Live. It's the great. Maniac, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. I love that fight scene. It's such a great fight yeah. scene. They yeah. recreated that whole fight yeah. scene in the game. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. I had no idea Rowdy Rowdy Piper Saints, wasn't there. Yeah, How to Saint Save Christmas. Craziest and probably the greatest Christmas it DLC. It is one of the greatest DLCs. In a video yeah. game. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, like, you know, Bully Bully has a Christmas season because that's the season school, but it's not a DLC. Yeah. It's just part of the game. It's yeah. cool. But oh, okay. There's yeah. two that I like to bring up like briefly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, South Park Fractured Butthole, one of the chapters. Uh, oh, you know, I still haven't played that. Car- <laughs> okay, <laughs> Cartman or his... Uh, f- Stick of Truth's really great. Or yeah, is it? Like, Cartman yeah. or his uh, evil imaginary friend who ends up becoming the villain. Uh, oh. J-Lo? <laughs> Mitch something. <laughs> oh. It's someone that pretends to be a Jennifer Lopez, but it's like... <laughs> it's his hand. Yeah, it's, it's his hand. hand. Yeah. Basically, he becomes mayor and he makes it like every day will be Christmas in South Park. <laughs> so they go, they accidentally go into the future with the power of your main character's farts. And Christmas that sounds very South Park. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas every day in South Park is a complete nightmare. Everyone's getting wasted. And <laughs> every, uh, Mr. Mackey gets his head blown up by the Christmas critters and you either stop him and you wow. gotta get Santa Claus's help. Now, is that part of the game? Is that yeah, canon? It's, it's Mr. Mackey's dead? Oh, it's in the future. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you can stop it. You can stop it. You can save wow. Mr. Mackey. Yes. You, okay. You okay. Mu- yes. And it's that point in the game where the main character's butthole becomes fractured, hence the title, <laughs> The Fractured Butthole. <laughs> and it's a play on words. It's a pun, kids. Yeah, it's yep. a pun. <laughs> and basically, you got to repair your anus to go back in time. <laughs> okay. And another one I'd like to mention is uh, Family Guy... Back to the multiverse. Basically, one level is a Christmas level where Santa Claus goes out of business because of Amazon. And now the North Pole is a nightmare where all the elves are mutants. He burns letters for a living. And, yeah. I mean, that sounds like it could happen. I think Jeff Bezos could put Santa out of business. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Wow. You know, there's a lot more (laughs) In <laughs> video games that I really realized that there were. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Oh, uh, there's a lot goodness. more too. But yeah. most a lot of them consist little Easter eggs, yeah, of, of Easter eggs. Santa being out of character in some way. Like yeah. you have to fight Santa, or yeah. Santa helps you fight, or some some such thing. Some craziness. Yeah, some sort of evil sumos. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh boy. Anyway, uh, any more? That's it. That's, that's it. all we. Yeah, that's all that's we it. could muster. No, that's good. Honestly, that's a lot more than I could have done. <laughs> um, this would have been a very short show if it was just me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, look, if uh, there's anything we didn't mention that has any uh, Christmas Easter eggs or any Santa Easter eggs or anything like yeah. that, let us know in the comments below. Right. If you have any, if you want to say anything about what we just talked about, maybe we, maybe we missed something or maybe there's something in particular that you liked, you can go ahead and leave us a comment for that too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button. Absolutely. Uh, doesn't matter to me which one, guys. Uh, I mean, I would hope that you liked it, but yeah, right. You know, if you don't, I can't really do anything about that. Right. Um, and then uh, plugs before we go. Oh yeah, uh, Toku Titan Cast. Yesterday we just did. Where's your shirt? Oh, I I don't know. I don't want to hear you talk about anybody till you get that shirt on. <laughs> okay, well, yesterday we did a nine and a half hour live stream of watching five Godzilla movies. He's a little burned out. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you mean last week? I, or 
Yeah, last week, whatever. I, you I burned lost, out from last week? I, I lost track of time both now and I lost track in the live See, that's how much well. it affected him. Yeah. You slept? You, did you sleep? Did you not sleep from last week? I don't understand. I, I, kind, I kind of passed out halfway. And, oh, okay. and yeah, guys, if you want to see Tony just see straight Tony. pass out in the middle of, in the middle of, an, the middle of, in the a, middle live of a live stream. stream. Yeah, uh, but, go ahead yeah, and go was, over it was, there. It was a good charity live stream. We did well. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I heard you did good. Was that on? Uh, is that it's particular on, live stream on YouTube yeah, now? Yeah, is that people on, watch on YouTube? It's on YouTube. Titan Go just YouTube channel. Yeah, there you go, good guys. Stuff. There you All go. Right. You can go see them and watch Tony just pass out in front of everybody. And I'm like, uh, 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 uh. tpublic.com slash gofenris or oddity collectibles. Some cool okay. t-shirts. Cool, cool. Uh, guys, some changes are coming to the OnlyFans. I can't say what exactly just <laughs> yet. No, I'm keeping it a secret, secret, uh, secret. sexy secret. So, uh, <laughs> stay, so secret. sexy secret. So stay posted on that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> besides that, I got nothing. So, uh, uh, Merry Christmas, Merry Happy Christmas. Holidays to everybody out there. Yeah. Oh yeah, Happy um, Holidays. Remember, ha- Happy yeah. Starlight. Yeah. What? Remember, it's, it's, it's a Final Fantasy thing. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> happy Candle Nights. Let your heart grow three sizes that day. Yeah. Happy Life Day. Yeah, right. Just have a good Christmas, guys. Yeah, just, just have a have good, good Christmas. Holidays, enjoy yeah. yourselves. Enjoy your time with your family if you can spend time with your family. And if not, you know, uh, that sucks and I'm sorry. But, yeah. you know, hopefully. Find somebody you love. And, yeah, uh, hopefully you can have a good Christmas regardless. Give, yeah. give them a, a phone holiday. call. Yeah, give them a phone call. Zoom them. You can Zoom people. <laughs> right? That's a new thing. Right. Zoom, Skype, whatever. Uh, uh, you can give them a call and just have a good holiday, okay? Uh, Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and we'll see you guys next week. Happy holidays.